it's uh, great to be back in Edinburgh where an audience will screw you over if you ask them the wrong question. I did a gig last night. I said to a guy in the front row, have you ever played a practical joke on your missus? And he made, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She loves the ballet. So I told her we were going to the ballet, but we went to something completely different. I said, when was that? He went, tonight. <laughs> I said, have you ever played a practical joke back on your husband? And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He thinks the eldest is his. <laughs> and she went, oh! It was horrible, because they were my parents. So, um, <laughs> this is not my first time here. Last year, I, got, I came here and I bought a bike. And uh, it's a great city for that, you know. Edinburgh's the only city in the world where your cycle, both to and from any destination, is entirely uphill. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know how you managed to do that. It's like an Escher painting in this bleeding town. And, um, so I got the bike and I was cycling up. You know the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, you all know. It's quite stressful for us in a comedic way. We pay for our posters to be put up and our flyers to be handed out. And so on the last night, I was cycling home hammered. I don't normally do this. Breaking red lights like it was going out of fashion at four o'clock in the morning when I became suspicious that there might be a police car behind me because I could see that there was a police car behind me. <laughs> and I'm quite bright like that. And he pulled me over. And uh, I don't know why he stopped me. I don't know how he saw me. I didn't have any lights. Um, <laughs> he pulled me over and he started with a question. Because oh, halfway down Leith Walk, right? He started with a question. Because cops all over the world like to start with a question, don't they? In case you give more away accidentally. Has it ever worked for them ever before? Like you're pulled over in a bus lane. Do you know why I stopped you? Is this about the murder? <laughs> Oh, it's not. Why oh, I think I've said too much. <laughs> Don't check the boot. So, he goes, you know how many red lights you broke? Seven red lights. What about the one at Royal Mile in South Bridge? That's a dangerous junction. And I did what any Irish person does abroad. You think, well, if he knows I'm Irish and foreign, I might get away with this. So I looked at him and went, be garbage is, be the hokey. I don't know where that is. A fiddly diddly diddly dee. And river dance <laughs> slightly away from the bicycle. He heard the accent and he went, oh, would you cycle through a red light at home, would you? And I went, no, I've said, no, I've got a car at home. <laughs> he said, why did you break the red light? What a stupid question, because the green one was making me homesick. He goes, that's a 60 pound fine now if I were a total bastard. So I went, so it's a 60 pound fine then. <laughs> he didn't laugh like you're laughing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever gotten a police escort to a bank machine. <laughs> Took the 60 pounds out. You're, you're cycling along. He's driving behind you, right? You're a big heavy bike and you're, he's driving behind you in a squad car at two miles an hour. You're stopping at every red light because you're not a totally gobshite. <laughs> you're still pissed enough to go, will we race? <laughs> you're still not laughing. I withdraw the 60 pounds. I hand it to him. I want no record of this though. And he goes, what's your name? I went, J John Smith. He goes, really? You know, it's an offence to lie to a police officer. No, it's John Smith. Write it down, copper. Because I was getting excited at this point. <laughs> Write it down, copper. He goes, if your name is John Smith, why does it say Neil Delamere on that poster with your picture behind your head? <laughs> I had stopped in front of my own Edinburgh Fringe Festival poster. I was so embarrassed. He was livid. The people in my rickshaw. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to talk to you tonight. I'm Neil Dallimer. Thanks very much. Good luck. Bye-bye.